And now to some sports, Safaricom has announced an extension of their sponsorship for rally driver Magazine Wahome with an additional 2 million shillings. The sponsorship will cater for the remaining rounds of the Kenya National Rally Championship and autocross competitions. In August, the telco had also sponsored magazine during the VOI edition of the National uh, Rally Championship. The sponsorship extension comes at the back of what has been a successful year for magazine who has so far participated in this year's WRC Safari Rally, Voy Rally, Machakos Rally and Autocross events in Mombasa and Nairobi. Uh, good feeling being the only lady, especially beating the guys out there. It's exciting, but also different, different environment, uh, special feeling. My message to the young ladies, young girls, gold women, Come out and support. You can be cheerleaders, you can be drivers. Come out and support. It's not just for men, it's for everyone. We are keen to continue supporting her. We are keen to make sure that she achieves her dream. And she's an inspiration to many young ladies, to many girl child or girl children out there. And also young, young people in general to tell them that anything is possible as long as you set your eyes for it. We believe in young talent. We believe that the young people are the future of this country. And in the sports, we've seen You've seen the likes of Kipchoge who without, without initial support they wouldn't be world uh, renowned champions today. We can see Maxi heading there and hurt him. So we are keen to encourage them, to encourage the young people because they have a long future ahead of them. Saudi Arabia's public investment fund PIF has completed the takeover of English side Newcastle United in a deal worth about 46 billion shillings. In the New Deal Public Investment Forum, which is linked to the country's monarch Mohammed bin Salman, will take a controlling 80% stake with Amanda Stavelli and the Ruben brothers, each owning 10%. The new deal marks the end of Mike Ashley's 14-year ownership of the club. The deal has been marred with controversy stemming from human rights violation with the Gulf nation and row between Bain Sports and Saudi Arabia over illegal streaming of Premier League matches in the Gulf state, an issue that uh, was ironed out before the deal was completed. Newcastle now boasts the Premier League's wealthiest owners with a deal uh, dwarfing that of Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich and Manchester City's Sheikh Mansour. That's all the time we had for Primetime News this evening. Thank you for keeping us company on behalf of the editorial team that made this uh, bulletin and the technical team behind the scene that powered it. Um, we want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Let's do this again next week. Keep watching Metropole TV. My name is Fred Makori and my sign language interpreter is Justice Mabenge.